Rural electrification has made a positive impact on the lives of people living in rural areas and significant progress is being made in connecting public institutions. Some powerful called on those communities who could afford to connect from nearby schools to do so. He commended community conservancies such as Vamunu as well as Wuparo and Yudia Lia Boloma and Mayuni for having bought transformers to energize villages outside the 500 meters radius. Apart from Impalila, other schools in the flood prone areas, Sampofu says, will not be connected. The main challenge at Impalila was to. The main challenge at Impalila was to connect it either from Botswana or Zambia. But now we have decided that it has to be connected at Invelenvinzi Primary School, direct to Impalila. This year, seven more schools will be electrified in Udialia Boloma, Lignanti, Congola and Katima rural constituencies. This Sampofu says is in line with the Harambe Prosperity Plan, which requires that by the year 2020, about 50% of Namibian schools should be electrified. Sampofu is also happy that 23 kilometers of the Namaluvi Isize road that was upgraded while construction of the Namaluvi Isize Luhonono road has resumed. We hope that they will work faster since this year. I hope that they will work faster since this year there are no floods. We expect that they work hard in order to finish up that 15 kilometers. Then we will be left also with another 20 kilometers to reach Luhonono. Sampofu appealed to residents to make use of the roads and electricity projects in the region to engage in activities that will change their lives.